Well, hi. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining me in my shop. It's been a couple of days since I've been in here. I've been preoccupied by another matter in my life. So when I'm in here now, let's carry on with this uh, broken needle, which I'm going to repair today using epoxy. It's probably what I should have done right from the start. Now, I thought I'd try a different kind of glue first time around. I was kind of doubtful about how how well it would work. It turned out to be pretty crummy, really. And coupled with the fact that I didn't get the needle on straight, I really just wanted to kind of get through another little another little test uh, in the sense of finding out if the cartridge was any good. It seemed to be okay. Can't be sure until this needle is in here properly tight. So. Uh, here's my little trick for using this kind of two-part epoxy. Is I, I always drag a strip. I don't make a pool. Don't make a pool because you can't tell how much you got of each one. So you start. I don't need much here either. Just the tiniest amount. Good luck on that. Here it comes. Come on. Oop. Now it turns out I made two little pools, but that's about the same. I can see they're both roughly the same. The only point I'm trying to make there is if you pour this stuff into a pool, you can't tell how much you've got of each component. And uh, you kind of want to get it right. Okay, and I need to stir that up. Uh, let's see. Something else I've <coughs> come to realize is you can't stir epoxy enough. Boy, I, was, I used this plastic because I thought this was a smart idea hardly see the glue on it, for crying out loud. So this is about a thousand times the amount of glue I need to do this. I've got to think about what else I've got to glue. Yeah, this plastic wasn't the best idea. Okay. So I think this is 10 minute epoxy. I've got about 10 minutes here. Okay, I think that's mixed up. Now, the diamond one was the needle farthest out. I can't have too much spillage as I discovered. That can cause a bit of a problem. Put this in. Spillage or overage or excess. Oh no, 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 no. There's no putting it in. Uh, you know what? Oh no, it's full of. <laughs> oh. There it goes. Did it go? Right. So with the 70, with the LP up, we want the LP needle down. This time I want to get it straight. That's my cat shadow. amount of glue there. Are we straight? Just about. Okay, so that's going to take about 10 minutes to, uh, to harden up. Maybe I'll give it a little longer. I'm just going to stick it in here while we're waiting. This was my big theory with the bag here. I thought I was being very clever because I could just open the bag, turn it inside out, and the glue is gone. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to throw this away. I'm going to keep it around 
as this hardens up, and plus a little bit on the end of this, it tells him what's going on. Oh no, shadow, get out of there. <laughs> yep, that's the last place you're supposed to go. Never mind what I was going to say. Get away from this thing. Okay, it looks very good. Now I'm going to put this down. I'm going to block her view here. There. Okay, i gotta got to wait a few minutes now. Okay, so I've let lots of time go by here, but let's take a close look at this. See what we can see. Okay, so in terms of the angle, there's still a tidbit of an angle there. Not much. Didn't quite get it perfectly straight. I think it kind of twisted after I glued it. And now, what I'm really interested in though is where where the flex occurs when I move this. Let's see. Okay, it appears to be well fused to the plastic part. It's got a beautiful meniscus of glue there. Looks like there's a little hair hanging hanging on it, a little wisp. see this with my eyes at all. I can't I can't look maybe I can. Let's try looking at the screen and see if I can manage this. Like I should be able to grab it. Hmm. Okay, won't worry about it then. Let's give it a go. I think it's ready. Set the phono. Let's turn it to stereo, make sure, turn it to FM rather. Yeah, make sure everything's working. Okay, we're ready. Are we ready? Um, so, this record's been sitting here in my uh, shop on the open. And it's collected a bit of dust. Try the Eagles here. Greatest hits. One of these nights is the opening song. For sure, I'll get a copyright hit if I just let this play. So I'm going to have to fiddle with it. But at least I think we can hear the opening anyhow. I got my fingers crossed. 
no rattly, no buzz, nice clear highs. Not going to work over right now. Okay, it's just going to shut itself off here. Okay, let's try it like this. Here we go. Fingers crossed again. copyright even if that'll work. I think I'm good for about eight seconds of music, that's what I think. Ha! Huh, sounds great. I love this song too. Ooh. This really really gets going here. get any better than that. Thumbs up. Fantastic. I got it. Great. I think that's it for this console. The, the next step is this guy goes back in his cabinet and he gets another test in the cabinet. Wonderful. What do you think there, Shadow? Good stuff? Just because I like the Eagles so much. Tequila sunrise. Beautiful sunrise here this morning. Beautiful sunshine, I'm sorry to say that because I know there's people on the uh, East Coast who are getting pounded again with another heavy storm. And, uh, oh, get off that. What, did, what, what just happened there? <laughs> I think she tried to grab the record. She's watching a little bit of dust go around or something. Come on. <laughs> next song, next song. Let's do another song. Peaceful, easy feeling. Fantastic. Great. Okay. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, to make a video of this in its cabinet. Um, I'm, I'm, I'll, try, I'll take a shot at that. But it won't be it won't be part of this video. I think I'm already done on this one. Oh come on! Get off my record! <laughs> stop! Stop! There, that'll stop her curiosity. See? She's lost interest. <laughs> okay, before she bites the needle off, I think I better pack this one in. Thanks so much for watching the, the series on this. And next uh, I'll be starting in 1929 uh, radio. Yahoo! See ya. Say goodbye, Shadow.